Seconds out, round one. And four rounds of light middleweight we have here for you between Gary Fox in the orange and black trunks and Billy Smith in the yellow and white. Fox, the local man from Fishburne, County Durham, in his seventh professional fight. Billy Smith at the opposite end of the spectrum. His 123rd fight. Fox quickly onto the front foot. Yeah, Fox just looking to take centre of the ring there. Record of five wins and one defeat so far for Gary Fox. Defeat coming in his third fight. A bit of a surprise to William Warburton. Since boxed him again and won. Well, this will be a good test here for Gary Fox. Billy Smith been around a long time, boxes every other week. Will certainly give Fox a good bout here. Right hand to the side of the head there from Fox. Smith, though, unconcerned by that. Got his first win in some time last week, actually. On points against Mark Adams at York Hall last Saturday night. You are happy to be there at that fight, a rare win for Billy Smith. But as I said, if you let him grow in confidence, he really does get himself into the fight. It's Gary doing a good job there, working the body well. Referee Mark Curry getting between the two. Well, Billy Smith landing a good left hook of his own, just made Gary Fox step back there. Fox, one of a number of fighters from the northeast, featuring tonight strong support inside the arena for all the local lads, as you would expect. Glancing left hand there on the chin of Smith from Fox. Smith walking forward all the time, caught on the way in. He landed a decent left hook of his own there, Smith. Looks like a good contest here in this opening round. Smith working hard to the body. looking to finish the round strongly into the final few seconds nothing clean getting through there from Fox Billy Smith showing good defense here and a fairly even first round let's take a look at some of the good work from Fox there, landing a good right hand. Smith just getting caught on the ropes. And again, little clusters of punches. Nothing too clear getting through there. And here's one of the good left hooks that Billy Smith threw in the round. That was the one that forced Gary Fox back there just momentarily. He's back, backed off both times, but you've just stood off. Yeah. Down into, into the ropes. Every time, come out your shots. Throw that left up, double it up even, body and head, okay? And when you, what did I say about when you're inside? Dip, dip the knees, right up the foot, because he, he leans out. His... Nice body shot there from Billy Smith. It was quite a close, quite an even first round. Fox maybe just stealing it. Smith starting the second round well, working well to the body. Smith always looking for that left hook, isn't he? Tight defence, there it goes again. Well, just landed a glancing blow there, but 
really loading up with that Smith, wasn't he? And just caught Fox with a right hand there. Smith coming into this contest off a rare win will really lift him here. He'll want to continue that run going. And he's not doing bad. Well, last time out for Gary Fox. For a four round point win over Jason Nesbitt. His career not really sparked into life just yet. That one defeat was a setback. Six fights in 18 months since turning professional, so hasn't been particularly busy. Stop boxing. Sorry, folks. Well, the heads just coming together there. The referee just warning them both about that. Good punches there from Fox, driving the shots through the middle. Smith, though, has soaked up an awful lot of those in the 600 and. 23 rounds he's boxed in his pro career after that first of tonight. He certainly has, but very durable Smith, as I've already said. Boxes every other week, but generally gives his opponents a good run, and he's doing a good job here as well. Smith giving Fox everything to think about. Smith just tying Fox up. Every yeah, available opportunity at the minute. Just getting a little bit messy in there. Again, a good left hook there from Fox. That one just sent the head back of Billy Smith, and he seems a little bit in trouble here. And he's going up against the ropes. Smith just using his experience to loop an arm over the head of Fox and bring that to an end. He's just trying to cover up at the moment. Smith throws a couple back there himself to the body and catches Fox with a punch that the crowd and the referee do not appreciate. Raises the glove. Maybe bored himself a little bit of time there with the warning. Yeah, certainly did. Fox just beating Billy Smith to the punch now, getting off fast, landing a good right hand again there. to the body again from Fox as the bell goes for the end of the second round Fox just growing into the fight nice and smart nice suck it up suck it up little nip on the eye now. let's take a look at some of the good work here from Smith landing some good left hooks to the body there Another close round, but Fox for me just doing enough. Just started to get off with the punches first. But Smith still coming back for some decent work, especially to the body. Here we see Fox. This is where he had his good spell work in the body and head well. Just momentarily stunning you Billy Smith do, there. Deal with it with your speed. Yeah. When, when you start just jumping in, you're giving them oh, a chance. Yes. Into the second half of the fight, Fox looking the stronger in the second round after a pretty even first round. Yeah, I've got Fox just winning the first two, but very close round. Smith having some success himself, especially. Them left hooks to the body. Smith always prepared to take one on the way in to try and unleash that left hand of his own. Fox did catch him a few times in the second round. His corner saying to him between rounds that Smith can't deal with his speed. Well, that's, that's the key factor for Fox. He's just getting off with his shots first. Smith's just found oh, wanting. Smith getting the back up of the locals here. He doesn't come here to make any friends. He's a durable professional. This is his living. This is what he does. Oh, 
still coming forward, trying to land that left hand. Yeah, Fox just beating into the punch at the moment. Doing some good work behind that tight guard. Search and destroy, written on the seat. And Gary Fox's trunks. Well, it's not been too difficult to find Billy Smith, but he's a difficult man to put down. There's no doubt about that. Again, good left hook there from Fox and just beating Billy Smith to the punch, isn't he? Now starting to give us a little bit of lateral movement, growing into this one now, Gary Fox. Slight mark above the right eye of Billy Smith. Fox getting in close, putting Smith back against the ropes. Well, not too much landing clean there, but Fox doing the more work of the two. Smith just seems to have gone into a shell a bit in this third round and a solid left hand through the middle from Fox again. Corley just telling Gary Fox to watch himself in the clinches were the words of the trainer. I think they're a little bit concerned about some of Billy Smith's tactics possibly. That was a good right hand from Smith. He just ducked into that Gary Fox. Yeah, Smith comes with a wealth of experience and he knows all the tricks of the trade. If it's not going his way, you know, he'll try and rough Gary Fox up on the inside. And we've seen that a couple of times in this round. Well, the end of the third and again, it's another tight one. Well, yeah, Gary Fox just doing enough again. In that third round, he just seems to be beating Billy Smith to the punch, landing some good left jabs through the middle, and switching the occasional attack to the body as well. So another good round there from Gary Fox. And Gary Fox at the moment for me, just stealing those first three rounds. Just listening to Errol Johnson in Smith's corner there. You wonder what you can say to a man really who's been in this situation 122 times already. It's much newer experience for Gary Fox well Fox you know looking to go on to fight for titles he's only got the one defeat out of his first six fights so this really does mean a lot to him victory here and this is a good opponent in Billy Smith and he will learn so much from it into the final round of the contest. This is where you'd like Gary Fox now to step it up and show us a little bit more of what he's got. Billy Smith landing a good body shot of his own there. Just caught Smith with a good one-two prior to that. He's been caught cleanly a few times again with the right hand there, but nothing has really slowed Billy Smith down. I think Gary Fox has just picked up a nick over the right eye. Let's take a closer look at that. Now you can see the blood coming from the corner of the right eye. Yeah, Billy Smith will grow in confidence from that. Maybe a little bit late though here in this fourth and final round. Blood seems to be running down the side of the eye, so it's not, to, not affecting the vision. Just wading in with punches to the body, turning Fox around. That peekaboo style from Gary Fox. He'll be aware of the damage, and that was a good left hand. Yeah, good solid shot there from Smith, and just having a good final round here. That cut seems to be bothering Gary Fox. He's not getting off of his punches as quick. Smith, as any fighter would, just looking to target it as much as he can. Caught him with a solid right hand there. Always trying to dig with the left as well. Fox getting caught a few times in this final round. Yeah, good final round from Billy Smith, getting off first with the jab, landing some shoddy shots through the middle. And the 
crowd getting a little bit restless here. Well, there's not been a lot in those first three rounds. I've lent towards Gary Fox, but they have been tight, and Billy Smith having a good finish here. Again, Smith, though, prepared to walk through a couple to try and get within range. Well, Fox just seems to have been first to the punch throughout this contest when the rounds have been tight. Fox is the one that seems to be landing first, landing some good shots through the middle. It's been a good entertaining contest. Both men come to fight in this four-rounder. Well, Gary Fox, whatever happens, whatever the outcome of this contest, he'll certainly look back and remember it, and he would have learned a lot from this. Another night at the office for Billy Smith is 123rd. This is where you'd like to see Gary Fox now picking it up, just in the final stages of this last round. He looks to have a big finish, just a seal the victory and yeah as I thought Gary was the right winner for me there landing the shots first and some good shots through the middle but Billy Smith certainly played his part in an entertaining contest well an important win for Gary Fox his seventh in his professional career his record now reads one six lost one and as you say up against a good durable opponent in there Billy Smith he never took a backward step well, Billy Smith always comes and tries and really does give his opponents a good workout. And he certainly gives Fox a good workout there. And here, I think this is where we see, that's where the cut happens. You see the heads banging together and it just cut him on the side of the right eye there. But my card really not telling the story of that contest. I had Gary Fox winning every round, but really wasn't a lot in that one. Well, a win for the local man, Gary Fox, the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after four wonderful rounds of boxing, we go to referee Mark Curry's scorecard. He scores the contest 40-38 in favour of your winner from Fishburne County, Durham, Gary Fox.